Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, I am Richard. This is Random Street Theater. And I happen to have for you today some uh, Sebra Dark Chocolate Dip. This is a form of hummus. Ingre First ingredient is uh, cooked chickpeas. And there's sugar, soybean oil, water, cocoa processed with acuity, brown sugar, sea salt, potassium sorbate, yeah, stuff. Should have uh, should have consumed this. A long time ago, actually. I believe the date is August uh, 2001. So, if I could be permitted to clear my cell phone, take a picture for the background. You stupid cell phone. No, I don't want to take a picture of the ceiling. Ah, uh, there we go. Yes. All right. Before I get into that, obviously, I am going to remind you that for every thousand subscribers I get, I get, um, I buy one of these bracelets or the like from the company 4Ocean. 4Ocean pulls a pound of trash out of the ocean uh, when I do that. Now, let's have some dark chocolate chickpea dip. It does taste a little weedy, but that could be because of its age. I would liken this to um, icing, chocolate icing for a cake. Definitely overwhelming the flavor of my, my uh, tortilla chips here. And it's a little on the thick side. Mm. Mm. There are eight servings in here at 80 calories per serving. That puts it around, this whole thing is around 680 calories, I think? 640 calories, not including the chips. Again, it's quite creamy. You would expect chocolate and chickpeas not to go together, but they seem to go together fine. You know, I could imagine putting this on fruit. It's Got a strawberry on the cover. Or if you had apple slices, 
This would probably go very well with them. Yeah. I mean, other than not really knowing what to put this on, I think it's pretty good. So if you're wondering, is dark chocolate hummus a good thing? I would argue that it is. This is also non-GMO verified. And my cat is barfing outside. It also says you can put it on pretzels. And it's Pear Eve. Yeah, there you are. Zebra dark chocolate dip made from chickpeas. Real life dark chocolate hummus. Definitely edible. I'm Richard. It is it recording? Are you sure? Are you sure it's recording? Little red dot. Oh, yeah. Okay, I see it. I see it. Little red dot on the screen thing. Right. Okay, so it's recording. Right. I'm Barry. Bury the strawberry poison dart frog, right? <clears throat> yes. And and I was I come from the WWF, that's World Wildlife Fund, and I was symbolically adopted by Random Street Theater, okay? And that means that they're not gonna tear my house down. So good. So I would like you to help not tear my house down, and you could do that by commenting on this video yes and you could like this video share it with your friends and subscribe if you haven't already and you know these necklaces these necklaces i'm wearing you see the, the, the those things are actually bracelets for humans for every thousand subscribers this channel will buy one and every time they do that it means it means a, a pound of trash is going to be pulled out of the ocean and you can help you can make the world cleaner and better for animals like me so please, comment, like, and subscribe. I'm Barry.